All right, I'm going to show you how to restrict user permissions using a permission set, which should be impossible, but I'm going to show you a use case for it. So let's say you've got uh, a group of users that you don't want to be able to mark a certain status, right? This is just one example of why you might want to do this. So I've got like, I've got a validation set up here. It says restrict knuckleheads from marking accounts as canceled. So there might be a group of users that have different roles and different profiles um, who normally people with those roles and profiles should be able to mark, you know, a contract as being canceled or a, an account is being canceled. But this group of users, we don't want to be able to do that. So um, as you can see, right, so I've got account here. If we mark it as canceled, um, I'm going to be able to because I am not listed here. So right now, we've just got users hard coded in here with their 15 digit user IDs. Um, but if this list gets much bigger than this, it becomes unmanageable. It's really annoying to have to try to find the user IDs. And um, yeah, it's just more difficult to manage and it's not scalable at all. But what we can do is this. We can use a permission set in an unconventional way. But first we're gonna create a custom permission. So you go to custom permissions, we're going to create a new one, and it's going to say uh, restrict canceled status. That's all it's going to be. That's all you got to do with the custom permission. And now we're going to create a permission set with this custom per permission in it. Because basically we can call the custom permission from the validation rule, but we can't call a permission set. So we're going to create a new one and we're going to call it a restrict canceled status. Boom, boom. <clears throat> and all we're going to do is add the custom permission that we just made to this permission set. So here it is, restrict canceled status, add that. So now that is included in this permission and all we got to do is manage the assignments. And this is where you would assign this permission set to anybody that you don't want to be able to mark it as canceled, right? Anybody that is listed in that validation rule, the way that we had it before, we're going to assign them. So, you know, I'm just marking myself as an example, but this is where we would assign the permission set to all of the users that we want to restrict that field for. So now we go back to this validation and instead of listing all these users per ID or name or just individually, we can go to the permissions and say, boom. And basically this is gonna be a true or false value. So it says permission restrict canceled status. If the running user doesn't have it, this will be false. And, you know, the validation, you know, will, will you know, since it's an and, it'll be like, oh, okay, the user doesn't have this permission. But since if they do have that permission and we assigned it to all these users, we can delete this and it's gonna block them from saving. So. <clears throat> Should be all set here. See how much nicer that looks. So now anybody that has that permission set is going to be blocked. So we know that we just assigned it to myself. So now if we try here, let's uh, mark it back to new and then we're going to try to mark it as canceled again. And since I have that permission set, <gasps> Uh-oh, look at that. I've restricted access to the canceled status. So it works perfectly. Now, anybody with a permission set 
is actually being blocked. You know, they say that you can't restrict any user permissions with permission sets, you can only add them on. But if you do this kind of validation rule hack, you can actually, you know, in very specific situations only, you really need to do this. But sometimes there are users without any rhyme or reason that need to be restricted from doing something. And this is one way of doing that if you don't want to hard code all of them into a validation rule. So anyway, <clears throat> that's that. Thank you for watching.